Hello and welcome back to Trails of Cold Steel 4. Uh, I thought we were going to be done with the interlude here, but it turns out we're not. So we have some stuff to do. I'm pretty sure Anton here. We, we watched that at the last, the, at the end of the, the last episode. Their little conclusion was, was Sharon that I've been waiting for for two Trails games, basically. Uh, anyways. We have we have quite a few people that are doing their conclusive events, I'm pretty sure. It seems like some people are updated and some aren't. I'm mostly going to avoid talking to normal M NPCs and just getting to the starred event. What, what do they call them on here? Sub-events. Because... I don't know. I, I feel like we gotta end it eventually, right? Uh... Ugh. I'm going to have to play him in Palm Party, I guarantee it, though. I can't believe it. I actually got to spend some some more time with Sharon. It all feels like a dream. One I hope I, I won't have to wake up from anytime soon. Oh, that reminds me. Olivier, the guy who invited me, gave me this. You can have it. I've already had plenty of fun. Oh, you just had another ticket. Okay, if you're sure, thanks. Of course, go ahead and enjoy yourself. Oh, I thought for sure. Five letters in your name, the the, the, the five question marks, Palm Party. Never mind, it's someone else. I can't believe this is finally happening, but what am I supposed to talk about? I, I know, Sh Sharon, would you like to hear about my travels? It's nothing all that special, but... Oh, don't say that, Anton. I'd love to hear about some of the things you've seen and done on the road. Oh, well, that's great. Okay, so there was this time I was hanging out in the capital of Burl, and... He is the main, the, the real protagonist here. Still can't believe you finally uh, obtained that, the title of Divine Blade. A student that any teacher would be proud of. I only, I've only been able to come this far, thanks to your instruction and guidance. <laughs> well, I'm not going to argue with you on that one. Anyway, just try to focus on using your remaining time in a meaningful way. Th same to you, instructor. Yeah, I had a feeling that people would be updated in that fashion. Uh, but still, that's too many people and they're all just gonna congratulate me, like even these guys. Oh, maybe not. <sighs> Milliam's as loud and rowdy as ever, but given the situation, it might be better for things to be lively tonight. Hey, is it just me or is Yusuf opening up more? I guess there's always a sil silver lining, huh? Yeah. Uh, yeah, if I talk to every NPC again, this is gonna turn into two more episodes, and we don't want that. We don't want that. I want to get started on the final day. <laughs> Sometime soon. Uh, <laughs> good evening. Looks like you fine fellows are having a splendiferous time. How about we take this opportunity to help strengthen the bonds of our friendship? What say you? I told me about this. You really do pester people when you're sloshed, huh? Didn't you used to be an instructor at Thor's main campus? Anyway, would you mind not breathing on me like that? You reek of liquor. Now, now, don't be like that. C come on, don't so be so cold. I brought snacks, and I'm willing to share. Oh boy. Well, we know Instructor Thomas is a happy drunk, at least. Yep. Yep. <laughs> so they're just going to be little things like this, but they're all updated, so we might as well get them out of the way. We'll be, we'll be heading out of the this interlude in this episode, I I hope, un unless there's more stuff coming. I'm so sorry about my father. He can be so quick-tempered. Ah, it's fine. I had it coming anyway. That's what I get for putting it off for so long. Huh? What do you mean? Well, I was thinking. I mean, if everything goes right tomorrow. If we both make it through okay, maybe I should finally introduce myself to your family. You know, do it right this time. Do you mean it? Listen, we got a hard road ahead of us, but there's no one I'd rather walk it with than you, Mary. I feel the same way, Makarov. Wow, I'm glad I got to be here for this. I've been rooting for them since I was a student, so it's great to see them find some happiness in all this chaos. Mint is the whole reason you guys even... She pushed it so hard. Whoa. H hey, what the hell are you doing here? Me? I, uh... Well, you know how it is. I, I'm not sure we do, to be honest. 
that you can count on us to do our part tomorrow, for you and Instructor Mary's sake. Well, right back at you, I guess. Just don't breathe a word of this to uh, the others, all right? Especially Mint. <laughs> sure, my lips are sealed. Mint, where are you? Makarov, thank you for talking to my father. I don't know if I'll make much of a wife, but I'll be glad to have you as my fiance. Oh. He actually proposed? Oh. <laughs> ah, shucks. Well, let's worry about that tomorrow after we make it through. I said that completely out of order. What are you guys doing? Let's see, maybe... Oh, yeah. We should start. How about we take it easy and see what happens, huh? Yeah, th th that's the same dialogue, thankfully. At least I can kind of tell, because uh, I just did all this yesterday, so... You guys are in the same spot. Swimming club is all together. You're a snobby guy who can't stand the fact that other people are at your park. Uh, who's in here? Schmidt is all alone. Oh, there you are, Professor. Is there something special about that notebook? Looks like it's seen a few winters, to say the least. Hmm. It's nothing. Merely checking its contents before I dispose of it. To ensure that nothing important was overlooked, you see. It is one of the few relics left by my first disciple, after all. That would mean that it's... that's Franz Reinfurt's. Even now, it is a treasure trove of ideas. Actually, it actually offered an excellent solution for a problem that I had identified. But I've already pulled out all the research I can. There's no reason to hold on to what remains. I had thought our time apart might result in something productive, but that hope appears to be have been in vain. I see. Franz Reinford, according to what we saw in the spectral moon mirror, that was just an alias for him. Hmm. I'll leave it to you to figure out where to go from here. Right, Professor. We'll do what we can. By the way, if you're not opposed, I'd be grateful if you could hold off on disposing of that notebook. Until we reach a conclusion. Conclusion. With him, I mean. I don't see why not. I doubt I'll be in, any posi in a position to deal with it tomorrow anyway. Thank you, Professor. I have no idea how we turn him around. I feel like he'd just have to be put in jail, right? Did you- did I get a new recipe here? Oh, I did, but I can't- I can't do it. God, I- I can't even run around and go get stuff, uh, right now. That sucks. Alright, let's check out on Aurelia. Hey, the general here told me that uh, you reached some sort of crazy milestone. Congratulations. But I'm sure you don't need me to tell you not to let it go to your head, right? Right. This isn't the end for me. It's only the beginning. I must admit, seeing two high-level Eight Leaves practitioners going at it lit a fire within me as well. Care to join me for a sparring session, Wallace? I want to work out some of that excitement off. Sure. If that's what you want, count me in. I know I'm probably the last person you want to hear this from, but don't push yourselves too hard, alright? Divine Blade Schwarzer, eh? It's got a nice ring to it. No, it doesn't. Divine, Divine Blade Schwarzer, it doesn't, it doesn't fit. <laughs> Thanks. It's Divine Blade of Zero. That's the one I like. So that was one part of the pinnacle of the Eight Leaves style. It will be a sight that I won't forget in this lifetime. Maybe the Divine Leaf of Dawn, is that? Gaia said that one. I like that one too. Uh, restaurant? Oh, yeah. Nighthard and Fiona. And a, an amber old amulet. You got this for me. It's just a little thing, but I wanted you to have it. There's no telling what might happen after tomorrow, so I thought I should. Uh, you should have an amulet for good luck. I appreciate all the luck I can get. Soldier or no, depending on how things play out with the Great Twilight, I might. I'm sorry, I just killed the mood, didn't I? It's fine. My father's a soldier. I know what it's like to have to wait for someone to come home. But do make sure you come home, Nightheart. I want to see you again. Fiona. I'll be back. I promise you that. <laughs> I'll hold you to that. If I remember right, these, those two are officially an item. Is anyone officially an item? They make a good match. Fiona's every bit as strong as he is. I mean, back back in middle school and high school, if you didn't 
actually say, do you want to go out with me? Uh, you weren't an item. So, but, but, but as an adult, I don't really think that's a, a thing. <laughs> Is it? Do people still do that? I wouldn't know. <laughs> Uh-oh. What's going on here? Ah, oh, what a wonderful evening. Oh, I thought he was, like, sullen. The joyous sounds and cheering crowds coming from Mishy's stage show really make this place feel alive. You're not fooling anyone, you know? While I appreciate your pacing yourself on your drinking, you're still clearly on edge. Can you blame me? The fate of the world rests entirely on our actions tomorrow. A small case of the nerves is only natural. It is, but you're not worried about tomorrow. You're worried about your plan for tonight. <sighs> I should have known trying to hide it would be folly. Of course you would see right through me. You've been my bosom buddy for... Uh, wait. Bosom? Bo bosom? I think bosom's t two S's? I, I don't know. For over 20 years. Against my better judgment, clearly. Bosom buddy doesn't really make any... Well, do whatever you feel you must. I'll be sure to drink a toast to your memory. You say that as if you don't believe I'll succeed. What's this all about? Something must be going down tonight. Is he proposing to Shara? And what of you, Mueller? Did you manage to make to, to contact Liberal? I know you must be worried. What with all the uh, with the connection to Mille Mirage and everything? No, she's strong. She'll be fine. My father, my stepfather, even Kurt. We all have our own paths. As a fellow Vander, I will follow mine as well. I intend to stand shoulder to shoulder with you tomorrow until the very end. Until the very end. All right. Let us drink one final toast to the moon and to Mishi. <laughs> Very well. No. Okay, that's the end of that. I'm gonna go check here. Anything new go- Yep. Who's down here? I forgot. Oh. Oh. Oh, finally. I wanna know. <laughs> huh? Margarita, when did you <laughs> change? Oh, I got a little peckish, so I nibbled on a cereal bar I brought along. I gave you food. Would you like a bite? Uh, oh, um, no, thank you. I'm all right. Such a peaceful night, isn't it? But my, how cold. I can feel my lips drying out already. Do they look dry to you, Vincent? Take a good close look. I is she asking me to kiss her? Why, oh why, did she have to nibble on that cereal? Take a nibble of that cereal bar. No. How could I be so callous? Love is blind, is it not? No matter her appearance, Margarita is still my darling Margarita. I'm sure I'll figure it out eventually. Hey, uh, sorry I'm late. Look who I ran into on my way over, though. Uh, hi, everyone. I didn't know you'd all be wandering the park together. That's right, we're planning on taking a look around as a foursome. Of course, you're more than... You're welcome to join us, Elliot. I mean, Arkansas's performance wrap... Performance, performances, rap party <laughs> has been kind of put off after all. I hope you'll join us. Ferris and I couldn't be there for the rehearsal, so we'd love to hear all about the wor working with them. Well, uh, sure, I'd be happy to. Also, I was actually planning a little performance of my own later. You're welcome to join me if you'd like. That sounds wonderful. There's nothing uh, like music to lift one's spirits. Yeah, and lifting spirits is what tonight's for. I'll lift the audience's spirits so high, they'll rip right out of their bodies. That might not be as quite as soothing as we were hoping for, Mint. <laughs> Count me in, too. Sounds like it'll be fun. It's nice to see all of them laughing and smiling together. One thing bothers me, though. Did Mint say she just ran into Elliot? I'm pretty sure she told me she was planning to meet up with him. Uh, well, as long as they're having fun. Is that a problem? I could see them being together. It'll be fun to see them all perform together. I can't wait. He said it concerns him. Anyway, let's all enjoy the attractions. I've, it's been a while since we got together with the, the others like this. 
I think I'll try to catch up with them while we're having fun. Sure. <sighs> Horror coaster. I think this is the last place. Uh, oh, I thought Ash was gonna have more of a. Oh man. Talk to Laura. Uh, it's, it's the same. Inner child. So, have we done everything? Oh, we have one more ticket. I suppose I could go uh, spend that. But we've seen we've seen all the events, so I can just skip whoever I choose. It's it's mostly just there now. Yeah, we've we've seen all of these. I forgot who gives what item though. Uh, we. I don't know. I guess randomly, because I chose Ash, because I just wanted that event. Uh, this is all defense stuff. Magic evasion. Celine, what did you give me? You know what? We'll go with Celine. I think we could just skip all the cutscenes. Dad. What did you give me? Because I already forgot. Crit rate, delay... Oh, oh, she had ADF and magic evasion, 50%. Maybe I'll go against... I don't know, McBurn and... Want to put that on. That's the only thing I can think of. Mm, we didn't check the wharf, did we? That's the last place to go. Annabelle, are you... Damn it. Damn it, the wharf's... All the same. Oh, oh, and you guys. You guys are still... I thought there'd be some uh, more closure with all these people. That's okay. We have seen everything. As much as I don't... I'm, like, hesitant to do this. But we're gonna move on. Like, I always feel like I'm gonna be missing something, but... Let's go. It's fine. Call it a day. Hmm? Orb mail now. I'll be waiting at the the wetland CR. Uh oh. It could be a trap. Maybe I should just ignore it. You can end the evening free time. Why do you keep adding stuff on? I can still call it a day, but yeah, we can't skip whatever that is. Right? Yeah. Yeah. This isn't like a dating thing, is it? What should I do? It could be a trap. It's not a trap. It has to be her, but why now? I don't want to make everyone worry, so I'll just go on my own. Which is often why they worry. Rain. Don't tell me this is like a secret Claire love thing. Ah. She's got her new outfit on. Oh, she, does she know about Million? So you came after all. Rain, are you voiced? Nope. Yeah, I know all about it now. Um, what's with the outfit? Oh, this? Uh, I wasn't sure about it at first, either. But it's a uniform for the Knights of Blood and Iron. I feel a little embarrassed wearing this, to be honest. No, no, it, um, I think it suits you. It's really flattering. Wait, what am I saying? <laughs> yep. So I take it this means you're done with the RMP. Yeah, now that Operation Jormungand is ready, the RMP will be obsolete. I'll be joining up with Governor General Rufus, Prince Cedric, Lecter, and the others tomorrow. We'll all be mobilizing on board Tuwaha de Danan. <laughs> I see. It's still, still such a weird word. I'm sorry, Reen. I couldn't change after all. I set up this meeting so we could see each other one last time. Claire. Don't go easy on me now. As an Ironblood, I have a duty to apprehend you. I could force you to go w where the upcoming rivalries will take place. Likewise, I you have the opportunity to incapacitate one of your enemy pawns. I hope you're not going to pass it up. 
Either way, we both have a lot to gain, don't you think? You may be right, but I still haven't given up on you. Ooh. How, how can you possibly say that? I had you come here alone. I could have easily plan, been planning to an ambush. Please give me some credit. I would have sensed if there was anyone else besi here besides us. You came here alone, same as me. You didn't want Lecter or one of your other allies interfering, right? Besides, even if I wasn't able to sense a sneak attack coming, I know you wouldn't pull that kind of trick. That's not the Claire Revelt I know. Nobody bears a grudge against you, not me or Milliam or Altina or Yuna. Everyone in the old Class 7, even Sarah, would be happy to have you back on our side. There's no going back now. It won't change wh no matter what kind of front you put on, or how much you try to resist us. I'm sure it's the same for your brother and Major Irving. We all care about you so much. We'll never give up on you. Stop it. How can you be so cruel? I... I stood by and let Milliam die. I'm still going along with the Great Twilight. Don't you dare forgive me. If you don't hate me, how am I supposed to... Cue Milliam? Come on now, Claire. You know that isn't fair. So predictable. <laughs> Milliam, you're here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I saw you sneaking out. I figured. I got uses to stand down while I came on my own to check things out. I should have known you were going to meet a lovely lady. Oh, and speaking of that, your outfit is so cool, Claire. <laughs> right? Uh, how? Uh, my body may be gone, but my spirit lives on in the sword. And thanks to the Steel Maiden, I can walk around outside it again. Didn't Campanella tell you? Hmm. Well, I guess he's not the type to share. Yeah, she really didn't know then. Milliam, it's really you. I'm so glad. I... Yeah, sorry. I didn't mean to make you cry. <sighs> I'm really bad at this stuff. I really need to work on my social skills, huh? Milliam. Milliam, I... I'm not gonna make a mistake like that again. Even with what's happened, I'm still an iron blood. I've gotta look out for you, too. Tomorrow, we'll finally settle things once and for all. With you, Lecter, Rufus, Gramps, and that newbie prince, too. Newbie. Me and Reen will get through to you guys. She's right. We'll see you tomorrow. Regardless of Jormungan or Miel Mirage, I promise you that as a member of the Radiant Wings. That. Ah. Just have patience until then. All right. If you insist. I'll be waiting for you. That's my promise as a knight and guardian of the Great Twilight and a pawn of the rivalries. When next we meet, I won't show any mercy. Sure. You see that smile that you haven't had this entire game? As soon as Milliam comes back. Okay. We'll come at you with everything we've got. Green received his Tachi and something else. Sorry, I didn't mean to waste so much of your time on an important night like this. But I'm really happy I got to see you. Uh, thank you, Reen. You too, Milliam. Yeah, same here. Claire. This interlude is a lot, like, there's a lot of content in here. Oh, that's a pretty fancy airship she came on. I wonder if it's one of those high-speed RMP dealies. Man, I wish I could have come along and checked it out. I bet it'd make for one heck of a joyride. <laughs> if only things were that easy. For now, just seeing her face again is enough for me. We'll settle everything right tomorrow. Yep, I bet you bet we will. <laughs> Meeting in secret like this was pretty fun, huh? I won't deny that, but we should be getting back. Roger. Yeah, the the oh Kaleido hearts. She gave me another Kaleido uh, accessory in three. Enemies drop more Sepeth. Accuracy 100% and crit plus 
Not as good as the one she gave me before, but it's not rain only. That's good. Uh, I don't know who would benefit. You would benefit from crit, but you'd lose 400 strength. Wait, we're not doing that. We're, we're not. Okay, now, now I think it's the end of the day. That was Claire 1? Uh, she's not considered an ally anymore. Huh. Oh boy. So many updates. Let's see, is this enough? Nope. Okay, let's... Let's call it a day again. Is there another cutscene coming up? <laughs> Calling it a day will progress the story if you accepted invitations or promised to meet someone. Special events will take place. Maybe I should have accepted more invitations. Uh, because that doesn't... To me, that doesn't sound like... Dates. They're just invitations. But I've been so worried that, like, like the people who gave me invitations were, like, Altina and Musei, and I was worried those would turn into dates, so I avoided them. I, I definitely wouldn't want that. <laughs> Before long, the festivities started to come to a close. Those who attended readied themselves to head back to the hotel. After parting ways with everyone else, Reen found himself wandering towards the pier, with no particular purpose in mind. Wow, you can see just about everything from here. The Courageous Two, the Merkabas, the Bobcat, even the Pantagruel. And across from it all, across Bell City, and the blinding lights of Orcus Tower. The celebration's going to be over soon. Everyone's probably heading back to their rooms. I need to make a decision soon. Should I ask her to meet me again? Or should I stop myself, assuming the worst of my Ooh, fate tomorrow? What a wonderful breeze. <laughs> That sounds like... Wow, this is an amazing view. I can see Michelam, the Pantagruel, and even Crossbell City. Bringing me here to sober up. My, you really know how to show a girl a good time. <laughs> oh, it's nothing like that. I simply got the idea when we landed here this evening. More to the point, I had anticipated your inevitable inebriation, my dear Shara. Hmm. <laughs> you really do know me. This is nice. I miss those days when we were able to share drinks together. But you've been doing a fantastic job ever since coming back to the Empire. Though they call you debaucherous prince, you never let it get to you. You've been there for your family. Hell, the whole empire. Well, I've never been without people supporting me. Mueller, my parents, Alfin, Class Seven, the Viscount, the Erebonian Bracers. Everyone. I can't forget Lloyd's team, and of course Estelle and Joshua. But most of all, you. He's gonna propose. No. I couldn't do a thing to help you. Sure, I held on to the artifact for you and acted as a liaison. But I couldn't stop the Courageous from being destroyed. I couldn't keep you safe. I'm sorry, Olivier. I'm sorry that I wasn't there for you. It must have been painful. You've suffered so much. Now that you're here, all that pain is but a distant memory. We'll be there tomorrow. Together. That's all that matters. But... No, you're right. Just leave it to me. The Silver Streak will light the way for your radiant wings. I'll be counting on it. And it may not be fair to ask you at a time like this, mm -hmm. yet... <gasps> if we can claim victory in tomorrow's battle and stop the Great Twilight, if we can put out the fires of war and bring peace to this land once more, 
Would you do me the honor of becoming my wife? There it is. <laughs> Better say yes. Oh my god. <laughs> Did you run? Whoops. Didn't mean to invade their privacy there. Still, I knew they were close, but not this close. That's a big moment. I guess that incident in Liberal must have really helped bring them together. Mm-hmm. Can't say for sure if he'll accept it or she'll accept his proposal or not. Yeah, because he ran away. But I really hope she does. I'm rooting for you, Your Highness. What am I saying? I have my own decisions to make right now. Who should I spend my last night with? Laura or no one? That's all I wanted to see. Please, just be voiced. I mean, you could at least voice the... the dating finale final bond. Damn it! Laura! <laughs> Reen. What is it? I wasn't sure you'd come. Why, why is he screaming? Of course I came. I was the one who invited you out here. I, I know. But I had no idea what to think. My heart's been racing the whole time. You asked to meet, just the two of us. Already knowing my feelings for you. And I know I'm far from the only one who has such feelings. There are others more charming and more graceful. Psh. Considering that, there's no way I wouldn't be this flustered. <laughs> well, if you say so. D don't laugh at me! I can't claim the same level of expertise in romance as I can with the blade. Mm -hmm. But like I said, I will neither run nor hide from my feelings. If you have your answer, I ask that you give it. All right then, unvoiced. As you know, Laura, I am the sacrifice. There's no telling what might happen in tomorrow's battle. It racks me with guilt to know how many people will lose their lives because of me. It's too late to deny it now, but under no circumstances does that uh, mean I'll ever abandon hope. Because I know that tomorrow, I'll have someone dependable by my side. Someone more precious to me than any other. I know that because she's right in here in front of me. <laughs> this is awkward that I have to voice. <laughs> I love you, Laura. He said it. Not as a dear friend and not as a fellow swordsman. Walking along the same path. Well, those two, right? But as one heart loves another. Reen. Is this really happening? Or is this just so. some beautiful vision? A trick of the countless lights around us. <laughs> Could a vision do this? Oh, Reen. When did you become... Uh, so... You. J just how many times have you done this before? <laughs> you didn't give me a chance. My face feels like it's on fire. Oh, ah, shit, I just, hit, I double tap my controller and it skipped some lines. That sucks. It doesn't seem like I skipped much, but I'm going to hit up and double check. God damn it. This is what happens when you put down the controller and it's so easy to bump the words. Ahem, you didn't give me a chance. Oh, just think of this as my little payback for Brionia. I was just about to say that. Besides, this isn't the first time we've been in each other's arms like this. Th those hugs were simply to mark happy reunions. An embrace is a gesture of affection, sure, but a kiss... A kiss is... You... But that's what you did at Brionia. You Very were saying... Well. <laughs> I suppose I'll let you get away with it this once. But in return, you have to stay here. With me. Just a little while longer. I'll stay. Not just a little while longer, but until dawn. <laughs> what Old is this? As ever. Final Fantasy VII before the final battle? Wow. Oh, that was the end of it. Really? Well, I probably... No, that would have been a two-hour episode. That was actually the end of it. Okay.
Uh, well, we have to keep going because <laughs> when have I ever made a 30 minute episode? I refuse. But yeah, I, I'm sorry. I, I, I skipped the like two, three sentences. How dare I? I, when I, when, when a long cutscene happens, I put the controller down because, you know, I expect them to, to keep going. But since that one wasn't uh, fully voiced, Doreen wasn't voiced, I went back to pick it up and I, it's so easy to accidentally bump the L1 and skip a full cutscene. It's ridiculous. I kind of wish there was like L1 and then it says, do you want to start skipping or something? But I guess it's, it's fine. It's fine. It's faster not, not having that prompt. I just wish it was harder to access. Maybe hit select instead. <laughs> That's harder to hit. Anyways, before we start that, I need to rehydrate. Uh, I could have sworn it was called... Uh, Eve of War. Now it's called Night of Promises? Whatever. I'm calling it Eve of War. <laughs> I feel like I mis mistitled all my, uh, my, my stuff. Because uh, if I didn't move the camera, it's called Night of Promises. But that was confusing. Also, my chair just fell apart. Yeah, the Eve of War. It says right here, The Great War Begins. The Great War. Even the, the background, the, the, the different color. Early morning, Michelin. Stay away from that skip button. Look at the sky. I like that color. Where are we going? Look, seriously, where's the Courageous going? If everyone else is breaking off and going to take out those pillars... Or salt pail... I guess they're, they're not quite so Are they salt pails? I mean, it's... It, it... They said they were made of different stuff. Or maybe they just served a different purpose. This is quite tense. You guys seem a little too happy right now. <laughs> just, just the la la, uh, yeah, reading your book. That's not like preparing for war. <laughs> You can hear the dialogue that isn't being said easily. That's what happens when you get so used to these characters. Can't believe after I beat this, I have to wait till... Uh, technically a year and a half. What, when does it come out? Trail, trails into... Re Reverie? The current uh, time is 05, 13 hours. It's, it's pretty far away. 2023. It's it's fine. All ships will be in position by 11:45 hours. We've got the Bobcat 2 and the Merkaba, not to mention the Pantagruel landing craft and the Ouroboros ships. Each team will infiltrate their assigned pay. Once the barrier is down, the Courageous 2 will charge the Imperial Fortress. If all goes according to plan, it should be 12:30 hours by then. You shouldn't need to worry about interference from the Imperial Air Force, but be vigilant for the Crimson Arc. Right. That's right. It doesn't appear as though they intend to directly participate in Operation Jormungand. Agreed. We should all be on our guard. 
Your Lordship, Sharon, Angelica, Duvali. Rose, Tita, Randy, we're all counting on you. Got it. The rendezvous with George isn't until after 11, though. I would like nothing more than to be of use to you. If there's anything at all you require of me, please, don't hesitate to ask. Same with me. I'll lend you my aid where I can. <laughs> I'll be sticking around until you guys meet up, too. But it looks like Lloyd and the others aren't going to be free until the very last minute. It's the same for Estelle's group, too. I'm going to give this everything I've got right until the very end. I can go wherever I'm needed. Maintenance, ground patrol, whatever you need. You young folk can take care of all the preparations. We shall sit back and wait for our turn to arrive. If you require assistance with tactics, or have questions about the ship's operation, I am prepared to offer my assistance. Thank you, Father. You okay. too, Grandmother. But don't get too excited, okay? Seriously, you have a tendency to get way too worked up. Hey, do not talk to your creator like that! <laughs> I know we'll be in good hands. <laughs> Shall we get started then? Yes. This could be our final special ops mission. Between the Pales, the Imperial Fortress, and the imminent war, anything could happen. Shit's looking crazy as hell down there. Is it? Yep. We got a number of requests, too. Best check them out before you forget. Yeah. Yep. Some of them seem pretty important. Seems like there are a bunch of magic knights and cryptids popping up, too. <laughs> at this point, it would be best to handle everything all at once, yes? Sure. It seems we'll have a chance to show the world what the Radiant Wings can do. Good luck, everyone. We'll be supporting you from here the whole time. Got it. We'll be counting on you. Okay, Class 7. Our final batch of special ops missions begins now. Let's be the flashing blade that illuminates the darkness. Together, we'll light the path ahead for the world. We're all going to have to work together to make this happen. The deadline is 1100 hours. We'll need to finish everything up by then. Okay. May Adios be with us. Let's go, Class 7. Right. Perfect. It's exactly as I predicted. Uh... Finale, Scattered Petals, Dying Flames. I like this art. This is looking good. Oh, we're... Dude, it's, this has been a long time coming. It's... Well, I don't even know how many episodes we're going to have before we get to the end. But... I... 100%. We haven't even seen it yet. I know the whole world map is open. Everyone is with us. Everything's going to open up. We're going to be able to get... Oh, we could probably get our ultimate weapons now. The side quest for the ultimate weapons usually happens around this point, before you enter the final dungeons. And once you make one, you can farm... I, I don't know if it's going to work the same. Every time you get a, like, a piece, you can farm and then use... You can craft it anywhere. Uh, for the sake of this, we've already taken everyone. They've all got their time. So... <laughs> I don't know, not... Uh, oh... Well, I haven't brought Altina in a while. I have to take her. Got my brick damage. Uh, the question is, who else do I take? And we we actually have kind of a lot of damage, but... Oh, right, we have to take Musa. Of course we do. New Class 7, as the game wants to put it. They're sticking around. Uh, I will have to gear everyone. I will have to get, like, Sepeth for whatever I need, all the, the gear, what, whatever happens. It sounds like everyone's actually, like, maybe we'll get to play as Tita and the rest of, you know, Liberal team, Randy and the Crossbell team, Sharon and Angelica and Duvali and all them. I, I hope I can play as them. That'd be fun. I don't know who else... I'll bring Laura. <laughs> Despite her being, you know... That, that, oh, despite her being part of the, the bond events that I always do, I rarely use her. You can now explore Stargazer's Tower. Milliam's Order. If uses is in your party, Milliam's Order white decoration will be available. 
Oh, I know that one. New weapons and armor can now be purchased in all areas. Thanks for waiting, Rain, and sorry to be uh, for being so abrupt. The final volume of the Black Records deciphered at long last. I was assuming it would come today. So you're finished. Thanks. Thank you for being so diligent with this. <laughs> Let me tell you, this volume has had some very intriguing things written in it. But I think it'd be best for you to read it yourself. I'll transfer everything to you, to your Arcus too at once. I can't thank you enough, Thomas. You can now read the Black Records. Oh boy. This is interesting. Reen, I was wondering when you come to see me, but I feel like it won't be long before you take up your sword and leave again. Know that I'll use all I all that I've learned to support you and your friends. Elise, thank you. I'd like nothing more than to stop by Amir and talk with Dad, but well. Hmm. I understand the situation you're in, but I need you to make me a promise. You have to survive and return to Amir. Elise. You know I'm not taking this lightly. It's a complicated situation. All right, I promise. I'll win these rivalries and return to everyone safe and sound. That's why I need you to hold the fort here. Of course. I don't know why I started talking. I wasn't ready to start talking yet. <laughs> I want to look around and get a feel before we end because I need to know a general idea of how long this is going to take. Harvest Festival and Ulster, is this really the time? Ulster didn't get a hold to, to hold its Harvest Festival this year, but I figure there's still time to put something together. Adios knows the people here could use an excuse to celebrate and forget their troubles. If you can help out, that'd be awesome. Hit me up at the Sunny Spot Inn in Ulster for more info. Saving Officer Allen. Oh, I'm really worried about Allen. He put in a transfer request so he could go straight to the front lines and be closer to the fighting. It's like he's a completely different person now. Nothing I say seems to get through to him. I hate to admit it, but I can't save him on my own. Meet me at the boathouse in Crossbell and we'll talk more. Why is this a side quest? This should be mandatory. Ein Hell Keep monster? Are you a powerful archaism in the Ein Hell Keep? Okay. You should be able to handle it on our own. Maybe uh, Alan would be fixed even without her help, but I feel like that's kind of an important story part. Let's talk to you and actually see what the requirement is. Hey, Reem, did you sleep well? Today's the day. Come smiles or tears, the fighting will begin. I hope you're not going to tell me you couldn't sleep last night. <laughs> Perish the thought. I slept like a baby. So did the two of them end up. Uh, stop prying, Reem. It's rude. You're off in another world there, my friend. I can't help but notice... How well connected you are, Reem. Did one of your connections send you to bed with a goodnight kiss, I wonder? <laughs> Something like that. Well, well, is that so? I thought maybe you'd been inspired by the passions of a certain steamy couple, you see. Sorry to disappoint, but nope. His Highness must have noticed me watching them last night. Wait, Olivier, are you talking about us right now? <laughs> Interpret my words as you will, my dear Shara. No matter what direction things go, I'm just glad they get along so well. Your Highness, I'd like to thank you for helping us all make such precious memories last night. I'm looking forward to continuing to serve under your command in Operation Shining Steel. The pleasure is all mine, Rin. <sighs> now that I've regained my composure, it's time to make our final war preparation. See to it that you can head into battle without any regrets. If you need anything, we'll be pitching in too. Thanks a ton, both of you. Carry it out. Talk to Olivier, Oliver, <laughs> and select wait for the operation to begin. That's all I have to do, huh? Go talk to him and the end of the game begins. Everything is open. Ah. <sighs> Every town is updated, everything. As I would expect, because the war began, and why not? Oh, we can see... Wait. Oh, we can't see the... You can see the salt pillar right there. Next to St. Ark. But not when you hit triangle. 
Yeah, you can see one there. Huh. So, they moved from Osgiliath Basin. And they moved, they moved the Tuaha de Danan to Heimdall? Interesting. Okay, so there's a bunch of people I could talk to, but I'm mostly getting uh, a feel for, for things right here. We'll go, we'll go talk to people when we can. Uh, it's going to be chaotic. There's going to be a lot of episodes here. Probably, probably four or five. Uh, before we start getting into stuff, because who knows how long this is. Final test probably right here. Uh, I'm just teleporting around, double checking. Okay, we got a event here. Uh, that's probably Margarita, but I can play someone in cards. No, this way. Who can I play? We almost have every card. So oh, Muse. The... 4D chest master, I don't know if I can beat you. Interesting. Well, we're gonna be we're gonna be doing that in the next one. Obviously the next one's just gonna be like every other one where I go around the ship first, do everything we can do, talk to everyone we can talk to. It ends up being a lot longer than I thought. There's no more bond events though, so we don't have to spend an episode with that. You're playing electric guitar unplugged on the bridge? Or deck. That's weird. Another side quest from Stark. So Stark has another side quest. That's four side quests. Oh boy. I will do trial chests on my own. They're not a big deal. Uh, we might find another trial chest. Apparently we can do Sk Stargazer's Tower, which that's going to be interesting. We can go back to Michelin too. Holy hell. Okay, well. I don't, I don't, I don't want to start anything just the middle of this episode. Because this is, it, or whatever we do, we're only going to get a few minutes in before I want to give up. So this is probably going to be a short episode. Now that we know. Uh, it's a little overwhelming. But this is the last the final, final special ops missions, final everything, which is, which is sad and, and awesome. So, uh, I want to take my time and enjoy it. That's, that's what we're going to do. I'm excited though. I'm excited to finally see some closure and, <laughs> and stuff. Cause I've been playing this game for six years. Well, okay. I mean, the, the Cold Steel series. Uh, I think I started like six years ago. I never got to play the Sky or Crossbell ones, but I, I watched them. I watched them before three because I wanted to... I didn't know who Randy was when I saw him in a trailer and I'm like, wait, what? So, I realized how bad I was when it came to the Falcom universe, the, the Legend of Heroes universe, whatever. I, I didn't know anything, so I had to watch something to, to catch up. So, I started looking up all that stuff, but they're remaking those games, and no. I'd love to play them myself, because the ones I watched, they skipped all the side quests. They skipped a lot of dialogue. It, like, well, not not all the side quests, probably. They, they might have done a few. But, like, I don't know. It was so rushed, which is probably fine. That's probably how people like it. They don't like to see all the stuff I'm doing, like talking to every NPC. I mean, 90% of people. Okay. But if there's people out there who, you know, want to play the next game, and they want to watch a Let's Play uh, of the previous game, I'm leaving literally everything in. You you can watch the whole thing in your spare time while you play another game, or you do homework, or who knows what the hell you do. Okay. And, and I won't be leaving pretty much anything out. You just got to live with the choices I make. You know, like choosing Laura. <laughs> I don't think I chose that badly, did I? But we should end here. So thanks for watching. Let me know if you like it. And I'll see you in the next one.